I'm going to introduce you to some of the popular currency pairs. Now, just like human relationships, each currency has a history and its own personality in the way that it trades. In FX trading, volatility is about how much and how quickly a currency's value can change. Generally, the factors influencing volatile pairs are similar to those affecting less temperamental ones. These factors include interest rate differentials, global politics, and basically anything affecting the economic health of the countries issuing the two currencies. Volatility varies over time, but here's a currency pair that has recently shown high levels of volatility. Now, the British pound against the Aussie dollar has become a lot more interesting since that Brexit vote. Now, if we add a price range calculation, which shows the extent of a move that a currency has during a particular time period, we can see in the six months after the Brexit vote, there was a 22% move in this currency pair. This is, of course, because the pounds became a lot more unpredictable due to the political uncertainties around Brexit and the effect it may have on the economy. On the other side of the pair, the Australian economy is particularly reliant on sales of iron ore and coal to China. So any sensitivities around relations between those two governments can have a negative effect on the pair as well. Also, if you remember during COVID, then the Australians did not shut their economy while the British did. Again, you can see if we add the price range calculation, this had a 12% negative effect on the Great British Pound. So as you can see over the past eight years, this currency pair has become particularly volatile, which is in direct contrast to the next pairing we're going to look at. The euro against the Swiss franc is often considered one of the least volatile currency pairs. The Swiss franc is widely regarded as one of the most stable currencies globally and is often sought after as a safe haven in times of economic uncertainty. This is due to Switzerland's strong and stable currency, its neutral political stance and its long history of financial security. So if we look at a chart of Swiss franc against the euro, we can see that for over three years, the currency traded in a very tight range of only 3%. Now, this was due to the Swiss franc peg against the euro. However, there have been exceptions to this stability. Most recently, the government rescue of Credit Suisse and perhaps most notably a black swan event in 2015. In January of that year, the Swiss National Bank unexpectedly removed the peg that was maintaining the value of the Swiss franc at a fixed exchange rate against the euro. This decision led to a sudden and dramatic appreciation of the Swiss franc against the euro and other major currencies. The Swiss franc jumped as much as 30%. That is unprecedented. The day Swiss investors will never forget. Aside from such rare incidents, the Swiss franc tends to exhibit less movement, particularly against major currencies like the euro and US dollar. Now, on this morning where the Swiss National Bank broke the peg against the euro, a real black swan event, I had a client lunch scheduled, so I was actually in the bathroom at the time that it happened, having a shave. My junior burst through the bathroom door shouting random words like Swiss National Bank devaluation, huge moves, big loss. And we went running back to the desk where trying to gather all the information together because it was completely unforeseen. And for the next 20 minutes, I was trying to explain to my bosses what had happened with shaving foam over half my face. Choosing the right currency pairs for trading depends heavily on which trading strategy you prefer and your risk tolerance. It's about finding a balance between the potential for profit and the level of risk you are comfortable taking. Be sure to subscribe to our trading takeout series on YouTube for a daily dose of market insight and wisdom.